open. And we held Jeremy Hill on the 100 yards, which is, I'm kind of surprised. So third and goal, A.J. McCarron in there. The man from Alabama, A.J. McCarron looking. Look at all that. Look at all that time. He almost had a man, too. So he comes down to A.J. McCarron, who hasn't played a game for the Bengals yet. Fourth and goal, seven-yard line. A.J. McCarron pick. Tyshawn Gibson with his second interception. Oh, my goodness. And can you guys say game over? And with that, the Cleveland Browns will be coming out here with their seventh win. Clear skies in First Energy Stadium as Cleveland, Ohio. The Browns will be taking on the 49ers as we are going to be in our away uniforms. I said, why not wear their away uniforms one time in a home game? And the 49ers are actually having a good year this year with their first year coach, Tom Tuslusa, or whatever, as they fired Jim Harbaugh last year. But now they got Colin Kaepernick, who's having a pedestrian year actually 13 touchdowns to eight interceptions so they gonna get the ball first and Colin Kaepernick the first play looking fine Tory Smith with about an eight yard pickup so now it's third and two into Colin Kaepernick looking finds his man Anquan Bolden which is ironic that the Ravens gave away Tory Smith and Anquan Bolden to the 49ers to the people they beat in the Super Bowl not too long ago but right now they got Carlos Hyde the dude from Ohio State and look at this man just going down the field we tried to strip the ball but we couldn't get it and you got to pick up a 29 man the Cleveland Browns got to do something even though we got to win last week against Cincinnati hey we got to do something look at Jared Hain no Jared Hain the man who can do stuff in arena football or Australian football I don't even know bro that man is so overhyped like and the 49ers gave him another contract. So, anyways, third and 12. And look at Denario Alexander, I believe, with the catch right there. So, the 49ers are within scoring range, which is being on the nine-yard line. But it is second and goal. And Carlos High looking a little bit tired. Carlos High breaks the tackle still. He's going right up the middle. But he could not get enough yards. He only got a gain of six right there. Anyways, third and goal. Can the 49ers get a touchdown? They got Jared Hayne in now. Colin Kaepernick going to the right, scrambling, scrambling, looking. He's trying to scramble for real. And he gets stopped right there by a man. And, well, they're going to have to get a field goal. And Johnny Manziel, 33 touchdowns, 27 interceptions, 62.7 completion, almost 37 hearts pass, 37 hearts, 3,700 yards passing. I mean, once again, like I said, I'm – I'm not going to go based off all those touchdowns. I wasn't playing on these settings. I'm playing now. If I was playing on those settings I was playing now, he would only have about probably 19 touchdowns. But let's just be honest. Let's just be real. Johnny, all those picks would have been real. But anyways, Robert Turbin got a few pickups right there. But then Josh Gordon said, oh, let me just take these yards back. And he goes back six yards. So now we're back actually more yards than we started out. Third and 11, Johnny Manziel in a pistol formation, looking, scrambling to the right, trying to find our man right there. We're going to do a playmaker. No, Matt 04 type stuff. And we find Rob Hausler right there with a pickup of about 50-something yards. Uh, I don't know. I'd say 20. You know what? I'm about to estimate it. But anyways, you're going to give it to Johnny Manziel. He's just going to keep it. Johnny Manziel going right up the middle, going to the 10. Five gets stopped at the two-yard line. Johnny almost had it in him to get the touchdown, but he wasn't all that fast. So now we're on the goal line. First and goal. Cleveland Browns looking. Johnny Manziel scrambling to the left, trying to throw it to our boy, uh, Benjamin. I, I mean, when I say uh, like sometimes the words be a little bit too small on the screen to see who it was. But anyways, we find our boy right there, Rob Hausler, for another touchdown. Actually, that's Gary Barnish. My fault. So, one take, by the way. First and 10, got Colin Kaepernick in the backfield with Carlos Hyde. And he is looking, trying to throw the ball downfield. Finds his man, Vernon Davis, the now Bronco and now Super Bowl champion, Vernon Davis, with a pickup right there. It's kind of ironic how he went from a team that ain't do shit, got traded, and now he won the Super Bowl. Like, come on now. But anyways, Colin Kaepernick going and finds this man, Denario Alexander. He jumps after a late miss, and he breaking tackles. He gets stopped, almost getting in there, but stopped at the one-yard line. So the Browns are allowing all this stuff to happen, making Colin Kaepernick look like he's the best quarterback ever. And they're going to get Carlos Hyde a touchdown. So the 49ers take the lead. Man. 
We got to step up our defense because this this is not good. This is not good at all. First and 10, we're going to give it to our boy Robert Turbin. Robert Turbin is going to do anything. It's a flag on the play. There are going to be a lot of flags in this game. A lot of costly flags too. So, yeah. First and 10 and it's holding. Coming back. Come on, people. I got to discipline y'all for real because Jake Long, like, I remember you used to be a 99 over on all the matters. Now you like an 80 something. Like, you trash, bro. Anyways. Johnny Menzel scrambling to the right, looking, looking, looking. Look at Money Man. Look at that laser. Oh, my God. Is he in bounds, though? Look at Travis Benjamin. This is why I told you I'm glad this man is back. Travis Benjamin with a catch right there, but is he in bounds? And the flag is coming out. And San Francisco looking. Look at this man. Can I get a Can I get a sound coming in? Tiptoeing in my Jordans. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. This man, Travis Benjamin, is a beast. He got both feet in bounds, and I believe the ref will be giving us the ball. Come on, man. Come on, referee 85. And a ruling on the field. Guess what? Stands. Now, anyways, second and five after that amazing catch by Travis Benjamin. And we got Johnny Manziel looking, looking, scrambling to the left. Throw the ball away, please. Barely gets the ball away as he getting enough pressure. I believe that's Corey Lemonard that was coming to him. So yeah, end of the first quarter by the way. And Johnny Manziel scrambling already in the second quarter. Throws the ball downfield. Johnny, why'd you do a pick? Eric Reed with a pick, and he goes in the end zone. So it'll be a touchback for the 49ers. So the 49ers have a chance to go up by two possessions against the Cleveland Browns after a miss. A very mistimely interception by Johnny Manziel. But they give it Carlos High. He gets flipped on top of his head. So Carlos High is not having a good day so far. Only five rushes for 36 yards. But will he, will he have more yards? Maybe. Who knows? And Carlos Cat, look at all the time in the world. Finds Denario Alexander. He gets flipped hard. And we actually lose Craig Robinson on the play. But I believe he will be coming back. So first and 10 on a 31 yard line play action Colin Kaepernick looking finds Vernon Davis and Vernon Davis got speed still Vernon Davis going down the field to the 20 10 f what we let this man score we let a man that old score 69 yard touchdown where's the defense so the 49ers go up two possessions like I said and Robert Turbin is doing some other stuff spinning to the right going back like seven yards like what so third and 17, and he's looking, finds another pick. And this is right on the plate. I think that's Eric Wright with the pick right there. So there's a flag on the field, though, but the flag came before the interception. Either way, they're going to keep the interception. And actually, no, I lied. They could have got it flipped. But anyways, anyways, Cameron Irvin, another offensive lineman, holding on the play. So pistol formation, looking fine. Vernon Davis, you know what? I said, you know what? Get up. I wanted to hit that man so hard, bro, because that man just, he shouldn't be doing this. That's all I got to say. He should not be doing this. So, second and seven, can we stop him? And they find Bolden, Bolden, I was going to say Baldwin, Bolden. They find Bolden with the catch right there. So they got first and goal. Carlos Hyde going up the middle, almost getting some stuff. I mean... This man going to be a hard runner for these guys. This man got like a 100 truck. No, 99. So they got Jerry Hayden in the game. Jerry Hayden toss in there. So the dude that came from Australian football scored a touchdown against us. It's 24 to 7, people, in the second. Can the Cleveland Browns come back? And we find our boy Danny Snagadola right there with the catch right there. I, I need to start using that man more. I know he don't got, like, the fastest speed. But, anyway, I don't – I mean, come on now. Second and inches, Robert Turbin got the ball. Robert Turbin gets good gain of 10 right there. thought he was going to cut up field. But Robert Turbin, I feel like he's like a – he – I don't know. He's like a more of a north and south type runner. He's not like a loser runner like that. So, yeah. And Johnny Mesa overthrows our dude right there. So, we stalled out. So, the 49ers got a chance to go up by even more. And look at Carlos Hyde. Carlos Hyde is breaking tackles. Oh, my goodness. If this was, like, if a user was using that man, he would have got back up and still kept running. First and 10. Colin Kaepernick looking. Finds. Oh, Tyshawn Gibson with the pick almost. But we could not get it. So, we had to settle. For a second and 10 against the D-Boys. And they find in Vernon Davis who goes out of bounds. Gladly he went out of bounds because he probably would have got the first down. Third and one, and they do not do anything, so they stalled out anyway. So second and ten for us, and we find Josh Gordon. Josh Gordon with the jukes move. Josh Gordon with the juke move with the first down also. Johnny is 
percent trash. What? Like, guys, I know I'm random and stuff, but look at Kevin Benjamin. Uh, Travis Benjamin with the cash right there. What am I saying? I'm going to just call, start calling people by their last name. But Gordon got the pickup right there of about six. And I was saying Johnny Mazel was 50% on the day but he's more now but anyways Johnny is looking fine it's Benjamin but he could not hang on to the ball so four for three what do we do we're going for it and Johnny is going to keep it and he gets past it go past it he dove forward for the first down and we we got doing something we got to score before halftime because I do not want to go down that much and we're going to get to Duke Johnson. You guys already know Wildcat play. And Duke Johnson couldn't do anything. So, you know what? I was like, why not? Going back to back. Going the other way. And Duke Johnson got some space. He is not going to outrun them. But he's going to get down the field to the five-yard line. We're going to call a timeout right there. Because we need a score. We do need a score. So, first and goal. Johnny Manziel scrambling. Scrambling. Looking. Looking. He said, you know, I'm going to just take it. Try to dive for the touchdown. But he gets stopped at the Uno. Mark and he gonna give it to his boy Robert Turbin. Robert Turbin, look, yo, can we get unnecessary roughness right there? Cause Corey Lemon, I got all up in my grill and stuff. So yeah. Anyways, guys, we are going to halftime down ten to the 49ers. So hopefully, we can do something because I don't know. We can't go. We can't lose like this. We're trying to make the playoffs if we can. But yeah, we only got. 85 yards rushing. Like, what, what? They got two takeaways. Guys, come on. So, the third quarter begins with the Browns with the ball. And we're going to get to our boy Robert Turbin on the first play. Robert Turbin got some space. Robert, ooh, the juice and ooh. Robert Turbin's about to take off. Now, nah, rushes 36 yards. That's why I'm going to be looking to draft the running back this year. Anyways, first and ten, looking fine. It's Josh Gordon right there. Josh Gordon makes a man miss, and he gets down field on the 37-yard line on the other side of the 50. So we making plays already on the game. First and ten, Johnny Mazel looking finds his man. Bold, see, bro. This text be so small. Benjamin, 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 Benjamin. I gotta remember the numbers too. So Benjamin got the pick up right there. Second and ten. Johnny Mazel looking finds Barnish his number one tight end slash number one receiver. And we got a pick up of a few, but we actually just ended up kicking the field goal and we failed out. So Carlos High trying to run the ball on us and that didn't work. So yeah, that was a waste. Third and 14. Colin Kaepernick gets sacked by my boy Bacarvi is Mingo with the mean sack right there. Look at that. Showboating two. So it's first and 10 now. Yeah, we got the ball. We got a chance to tie the game up. And Johnny Manziel looking at that dart. And Andrew Hawkins. Ooh, making people miss. He just made three people miss. Oh my goodness. And he made a fourth one miss too. And he styled. Oh my. Andrew Hawkins, you are a man. You are a bad man. Get my inner. Stephen A. Smith in, but he literally just made four people miss on that play. He made three people miss on the juke, but he made the other one miss trying to tackle him. And look at Tory Brown. I was going to say Tory Brown. But, yeah, look at Bolden basically getting past my defense. Like, come on now. So, Carlos Hyde still trying to run the ball. You ain't doing nothing, man. Like, you, y'all only hope is Colin Kaepernick scrambling because – Carlos Hyde not getting over 100 yards, but he will catch the ball for you guys. But it will be shy of the first down, and you guys got to go for a field goal, fourth and two. And if it goes up, and it is good. Unfortunately, it is good. So the four downs go up by three. Not even mad. First and ten, and we are looking to give it to Andrew Hawkins, and he's trying to make another man miss, but he could not do it that time. But he still got a good pickup of ten, so I will take that. And second and 10, and we're going to find Josh Gordon gets past the 50. So, I think that was a pickup of six, and yes, it was. Now, third and four, Johnny Manziel looking, finds Duke Johnson Jr., who barely gets the first down. So, it's second and three, and we are looking to Josh Gordon with the mean snag right there. Down to the 20 after the 26-yard pickup. First and 10, the Browns are trying to score. The Browns are knocking late in the third quarter. Looking, oh, my goodness. Aaron Lynch was right there. Johnny threw it right there to Aaron Lynch. So that killed our momentum, and we killed their momentum because they stalled out. And on the first play of the fourth quarter, 
Gary Barnes couldn't keep on to the ball. So second and ten, Antoine Padilla with the tackle. X Colt, we miss you. By the way, but second and ten, and you know what, Gary Barnes said, I'm gonna make up for that. He gets the ball right there, gets back up instantly. Got a gain of, I believe, 19. So now Johnny Manziel's in the backfield, getting hurried. Third and two. This is a crucial play in the game, and Johnny Manziel goes out of bounds on a gain of about 23. Wait, let's get it. First and ten. He's scrambling to the left, looking. Looking, looking, he takes it and he gets pushed out of bounds at the 17 yard line. So, another gain of nine right there. Third and one. Come on, we need to make a play. I had people wide open. All I had so many people wide open, I could have threw it to anybody. Gary Barnes was wide open for the touchdown. So, Johnny Mezzo gets his third touchdown of the game right there. This is a good game, by the way. 27 to 31, nine minutes left in the fourth quarter. Colin Kaepernick said, you know what? You got you remember what you said scrambling? I'm gonna scramble for real. He gets about 12 yards right there. And first and ten. He tried to get us off sides and he said, you know, I'm gonna scramble again. This time I'm gonna get more yards. He's going past the 50, making my man miss. He could have juked the mess out of me and got far to downfield. He's scrambling again, looking Tyshawn Gibson. What are you doing? Vernon, you really gonna hold Vernon Davis? Pass interference on the defense. So we got to give them possession within our 20 yard line. And they got a gain of eight on the previous play. And they're going to get to Jerry Hayne. And Jerry Hayne said, Oh, you want to talk all that shit? Touchdown. 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 49. It's Jerry Hayne's second touchdown against me. I still don't understand why this man's going to touchdowns on me. They're over here extra celebrating and shit. Oh, bitches. So, third and ten. You know what? I'm going to find my boy, Santonio. We haven't been seeing a lot of Santonio after that amazing game he had earlier in the year. Where he had, like, almost 200 yards. But then again, I had, like, five people hurt. So, yeah. And I also had Josh Gordon suspended. And I said, you know what? I need Josh Gordon. But Santonio just made a man miss right there. Johnny Menzel has 40, 40, 40 pass attempts. And... This is crazy. I, I game manager, like I said, <laughs> second and ten. Johnny looking finds Gary Barnish right there. I hope Barnish comes back next year. He's kind of old, thirty something years old. Yeah, Duke Johnson in the game breaks in the tackle, going downfield at the twelve, and we're looking to score right here because if we score, we'll be going up within late in the third quarter. I'm late in the fourth quarter, and we looking could not get the ball to our dude. So we will have to go for the field goal. So 49ers got a chance to win the game. Pistol formation. Colin Kaepernick to get sacked by Bracarius Mingo again. And that goes takes us to the two minute warning. Third and 17. And I think they're just going to play it smart. Give it to Carlos High. Carlos High is trying to go up there. Could not do anything. Got to gain them seven though. So they punt us the ball and we have a chance. We have a chance. So first and 10. Johnny looking. Throws. Pick. Oh my goodness. Johnny does it again. Johnny does it again. Threw a pick in the fourth quarter when we need him. So the 49ers are just going to try to run this clock out and get a first down. Look at the Nerio Alexander making three people miss, four people miss. Oh my goodness. And I'm glad they called timeout because I really thought that was the end of the game. I really thought that was the end of the game. So third to 13, and Carlos Hyde said, you know, I'm going to just take this. And fourth down. And they're going to kick a field goal basically and they're up by three so we have a chance Johnny Mazel looking finds Gary Barnes downfield past the 50 yes we need that so it comes down to a few plays Johnny Mazel looking throws the ball downfield Josh Gordon catches it but there's a flag on the play please tell me no please please oh my holding on the offense oh my left guard Bettino you don't even get flags like that why did you get a flag now so now we're scrambling to try to do something second and 20 we got four three two he got to the ball but he stays in bounds I could have called timeout I didn't have any timeouts so the game is over the Cleveland Browns lose another game due to Johnny Menzel throwing a pick and stupid penalties so that's all I got to say for that. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. It's me with PJ. I sign it out. Peace.